Hi, this is Komal with EC Info Solutions and today we are going to talk about how AI really scales inside organizations. Everyone has that AI honeymoon phase, the first few weeks where everything feels magical, but eventually the excitement fades and people ask, "Okay, what next?" So today let's talk with our co-founder Shreyasi about this. Right, what next? Uh in the beginning people get a small bump in productivity, maybe around 10%. it's uh, mostly surface level stuff you know rewriting text fixing grammar uh generating quick quizzes it's fun it saves time but it doesn't fundamentally change how people work and then they hit the wall exactly that stage 2 uh the frustration zone people try to use ai seriously but the system can't give accurate outputs because it doesn't have the right information sometimes uh, the data is too private to share with public models uh sometimes the workflow is too complex to explain in a single prompt uh so ai feels generic and not aligned with uh the real work so ai isn't underperforming in stage 2 it's underinformed so stage 2 fails not because ai is weak but because it doesn't know the user's world correct Yes, uh it doesn't know the user's world. Uh AI doesn't have access to internal documents, uh product specs, SOPs, customer data, and organizations won't share sensitive material as they shouldn't. So AI operates half blind. Then comes the turning point, that is stage 3. Stage 3 is the expert copilot zone. This is where organizations deploy private llms or internal ai models and now they can feed uh, ai complete data securely inside their own environment so ai finally gets the full context yes and suddenly the ai stops guessing uh, and starts performing uh, this is where experts um, engineers analysts marketers see productivity jumps of uh maybe 40 to 50% because um the ai understands their domain deeply so private llms are the difference between an assistant and a true copilot and then there is stage 4 where everything really changes yes so stage 4 or uh, you could say is the acceleration zone so, uh agent the ai here ai doesn't just support tasks it runs entire workflows multiple ai agents can handle uh, data extraction modeling drafting qa reporting with humans supervising and validating so ai becomes part of the team not just a tool is it correct this is where organizations can see genuine transformation a uh, faster decisions reimagine processes new efficiencies the future isn't ai helping with tasks it's ai running repeatable work end to end but most companies stay stuck in stage 2 why is that um you could say moving forward requires real change new infrastructure better data practices new security models and people who can validate and guide ai AI forces organizations to rethink how work is done not just plug in a tool so AI adoption is more about people and process than prompts you don't scale AI by buying tools you scale AI by redesigning work so if an organization wants to begin this uh, journey properly what's the first step so i would say the first step in this journey is to build teams that are AI literate uh, look at a software company Uh, software engineers uh they define problems clearly validate ai outputs manage hallucinations protect privacy think in workflows and innovate continuously and other industries need that mindset too finance healthcare logistics manufacturing yes absolutely all of them do ai will generate but humans must validate uh that partnership is what makes transformation possible ai doesn't take your job a person who knows how to work with ai might where does ec info solutions come into this picture uh we help organizations break out of stage 2 uh we build private llms integrate agents uh clean data pipelines um design redesign workflows uh implement governance and create secure ai ecosystems so companies can actually reach stage 4 so the journey is curiosity frustration acceleration and transformation
right yes you can say that uh, most people stop at frustration <laughs> as you can expect but we help them move all the way to transformation ai's potential grows at every stage if you're willing to move beyond the first one